music is so loud. It's working in here, Lindsay. Hey, hey, put the music back on, please. Well, being up at the country hasn't mellowed you at all, has it? Put the music back on, please. Yes, ma'am. I guess Bo and Clint ought to be getting back from their hike soon, and Matthew. They didn't take Matthew with them, didn't they? That was the idea. Nigel's gone shopping. Not quiet around here. Except for that awful music. Okay. You know what? I'm going to be the grown-up here. Go ahead and go put on whatever music you want. No, really, go put on whatever song you'd like, as long as it shuts you up. I don't care. Go ahead, put on a theme song to an old TV show or whatever it is. I don't care. I just have a lot to do, work to do, so please don't bother me. So, Bo and Clint seem to be really pleased with what they've accomplished this morning. It's nice to see the two of them working so well together. So you keep saying ad nauseum. Well, forgive me for repeating myself and trying to make civil conversation. Hey, Lindsay, what happened to Please Don't Bother Me? You know what the truth is, Nora? Everything is bothering you. Clint working so closely with Bo bothers you. Me living with Bo bothers you. Me being up at the lodge with Bo bothers you. You're conflicted feelings with Bo bothers you. Everything is bothering you. You know what? Here, take this pen. Take the pen. Here, get the paper. Take the paper. I want you to write something down. Just jot it down and then I want you to commit it to memory because we will not have this discussion again. Okay? Write this down. Write it. Nora does not have conflicting feelings about Bo and Clint. There. Okay, maybe I used the wrong term. No, I'm no, not no, a no, psychologist. No. This is no, this, there's no term here. I do not have a problem with Bo and Clint working together. I think it's wonderful. I think it's fabulous. I think it's grand. Okay, I get it. You think that Bo and Clint working together is grand. Yes. But that does not negate the fact that you are uncomfortable being up here with the both of them. And you know what I think? I think it's making your head spin. Oh, Lindsay, no, 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 no. See, you're making my head spin. I don't even want to have this conversation, but I'm afraid if I don't, you'll go and have it with Bo, and, and that I do not want to happening because it'll just push his blood pressure right for the roof. So, here it is. You ready? Bo and I are friends. We share a child. We respect each other. That's it. End of story. It just kills me that you think I'm so clueless. You think I haven't noticed that you and Bo have been looking at each other and the way you've been Did looking? You, it's all talking? last night and this what, morning, too. What looks are you what talking about? What flirty ones? Flirty? Yeah. It's the two of you alone in that car with all that wine and the blankets. It's like you've developed a brand new crush on each oh, other. Oh, for God's sake. You act like we planned the whole thing. It was a car accident, Lindsay. We were lucky we weren't killed. We were waiting for someone to find us. Well, you know what they say, there are no accidents. You're right. Bo planned the whole thing. It took him years to train that deer to jump out in front of us just like that. Oh, for God's sake. You know what the real question is here? You know what the real poser is? Why do you have such an obsession about Bo and me? Do you want us to get back together? Is that what this is all about? No, I don't wish you and Bo would get back together. Do you think I would wish that for Bo? After the hell you've put him through? I wouldn't wish you on any man. Yeah, well, at least I don't go around killing them. Yeah, no, you just have the bad judgment to marry a killer. The one that murdered my daughter. You stop you bringing that. Such a sick yeah, that's why I'm gonna kick your ass. Mom! Uh, yeah, we didn't know you guys were in here. Yeah, so no, we're just in here having a, having a little chat. Well, uh, me and Joe are just gonna play a video game. Okay. Right? Take it away. No, 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 no. You help yourself to the room. I'm gonna go and get some fresh air. Yeah, me too. What's up with the music? <sighs> oh, well, here's a swing CD. Yeah. You put this up here, Mom? I sure did. I didn't know you liked that music, Matthew. Are you kidding me? Count Basie and Duke Ellington? They're like geniuses. My mom and dad love swing. So do I. <laughs> it's 
called having good taste. Bye, guys. See you, fellas. Yeah. Uh, so, uh... Wow. Talk about presidential candidates flip-flopping. They got nothing on you, Dad. Natalie, what does that mean? What are you talking about? I just about? don't understand the sudden adoration for Jared. I mean, wasn't he the one that you wanted to throw out of your house because you were so disgusted and creeped out by him? And now, all of a sudden, you're enamored by him. I mean, like, you're his biggest fan. You know, maybe you don't need me to work at BE anymore because you've got your genius little brother working there. Natalie. That, <laughs> Natalie, that is not what we're talking about. Natalie! What's with her? Is she all right? We don't really know what the problem is. Well, uh, how was your hike? That was great. Yeah, that was uh, invigorating. I thought I heard yelling. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is uh, just fine. You get your work done? Uh, no, not much of it, really. Well, it's really a shame you have to do so much work here in such a gorgeous place on a beautiful day. Don't you ever take a break? No, no, no. I'm just a boring workaholic stick in the mud. You're anything but, dear. Thank you. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah, Phyllis. What's wrong? When did this happen? No, don't. Uh, no, I think I know who's behind it. Oh, Phyllis, uh, we should be heading back to Landview. We should be at our home office for this. I'll be heading right back to the office. Thank you. Not again. Yeah. Webster and Cobb both said it wouldn't stop, and it's not. What is going on? You know, they're coming at us from every angle. We put a fire out, another one breaks out, you know? You do what you have to do. I'll go get us packed up. You know what? We better pack, too. Yeah. Do you have a name? I don't need your help. Well, I'm not really sure I can help you, but if you don't give me a name, then we don't know. Then we won't know, will we? Don't be a fool, Clint. Bo and I sorted this out while we were up here, okay? And whatever little arrangement you and I had, it's over. Okay, you're not being smart about this, just like you weren't being smart when you put Bo and Nora in that car together. Let's not revisit that you lunacy. You rekindled something. And we can only hope that if you and I work together, we can put it out. So what would make it more perfect? Huh? You said being a Buchanan was nearly perfect. What would make it more? I'm not sure. I, uh... I just know that it's changed my life in a way that's, um... How's it going? <clears throat> well, I just killed Jared, so... Oh, that's too bad. Well, why don't you play, Natalie? Huh? You can't reach me if you want to kick my butt. Matthew, I need you to come upstairs, please. Oh, uh, boy. Do. Later. Uh, three hours, I'm hoping, if there's no traffic. Yeah, and I'm coming directly to the office. All right, thanks for your help, folks. Bye. All right, everybody ready to go? Yep. Hiya, Chuckin. Oh, whoa, 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 boy. Don't forget your bag. I'm not schlepping it for you. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> well, this will be fun, all of us driving back together. <laughs> It'll be a real treat. And I will be back at the office as soon as I can. Uh, so will I. I'm just waiting on Nigel. He should be back from the store soon. All right, we'll get there when you can, all right? Drive carefully. Thank you. Okay, you too. And, uh, Clint, I know you handle this challenge just like you handle the others. Of course you will. Jared is absolutely right. See you in Landview. Wait, Dad. Here, take these. <laughs>